Well, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Garden Simulator. Uh, this is a game where, you guessed it, you can be a gardener. Yeah. Uh, see how we have the background here? You can make your own patio, your own fountain, your own hedges, your own pathways, your own garden, right? But the cool thing about this game is that you can even uh, plant, grow, and cultivate, harvest, make money out of your, if you were to have fruits or vegetables, whatever it is. You can do that all in Garden Simulator. So let's go ahead and check this out uh, together and let's do it. Um, if you guys are excited for Garden Simulator and this is actually a game that you've had on your wishes for some time and you want to see this game come as a series, make sure to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Uh, we would love to have you. So let's get into it. I live in an apartment in a multi-story building in the center of a big city. During the past few months, I have been working from home. While that was very productive, while that was a very productive environment, it also took a toll on my well-being. So I decided to take things a little slower and take care of the family property out in the woods. Ever since my great aunt Ellie passed away many years ago, the house and garden have been unattended. My next move was simple. I decided to leave everything behind for a few days. I wanted to clean up the yard, mow the lawn, plant some seeds, and find out where things go from there. Fast forward a few weeks, and that is the story of how I quit my high-paying IT job and became a gardener, a gardener owner in the woods. But let's start on the day of my arrival. Alrighty. So, uh, we're probably going to get a very... What is it? Very messed up garden of some sort, yeah? Well, alrighty, welcome everybody to our abandoned house looking type garden here. <laughs> Looks like a backyard that we have ahead of us here. Looks like it's, you know, garbage thrown away like nobody cared. Uh, so I guess one thing that I need to do is right ahead is go ahead and clean up. So let's go ahead and start cleaning up. And Oh, God. Doing that. Now... About this game, it's not going to be your typical, um, it's not going to be the most realistic game that you played. I, I don't think that's the whole point of it. The point of the game is to really bring out the creativity, really relax you in a way, and uh, just have a good time putting a garden together. Now, I know that sounds uh, like, oh, okay, like, I, I mean, that's the whole point of the game. Yeah, but it, I was kind of under the impression that... Um, it was going to be more, I don't want to say more of a simulator, because that's that's not what I'm trying to say. It's like, have more realism to it. And I found out that it, there is not a lot of realism to it. But, well, I, I say that in like harvesting and growing crops and things like that. But I took a step back and I'm like, you know what? That's not the point of the game. The point of the game is to really just be create creative. And I love that about this. And I know that there's some going to be some people in the community that are going to love this game. I know there's going to be people in the community that will buy this game just for that. Uh, a nice good time to relax, uh, create a backyard that they've always wanted to create. A, create a garden. The whole point of it, right? So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to bring this game to you guys. And I hope you guys enjoy this. And to be fair, I, 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 because I, I played a little bit of it, I will say. And I've really enjoyed it myself. I, I, I have. So now that we've cleaned up the garden here... Uh, we get money for that, right? We get about $4. Uh, so we have 86 garden coins or dollars, whatever you want to say. Now, there is, like, other sides here, right? Other sides of the yard that we can also uh, clean up on. And you can definitely do that, too. Get Earn a little bit of extra income. I don't know if you can actually mess with the rope or get into that side of the, uh, of the yard there. It doesn't look like it. But, hey, we can at least steal money from them. Uh, so what happens is that you have a little bit of... By the way, we have a cat. How wonderful is that? Um, and, oh, by the way, another thing. I know it kind of seems very dizzy and, like, uh, blurry, but that's just how the YouTube video is. Um, there's just so much green and texture on that. The processing of the video as it goes through a rendering system in my computer, right? The video is, is captured, then it's thrown into a rendering system, and then it's uh, processed again... Uh, being uploaded to YouTube. So if it does look blurry, I mean this there's just so much the, the the pixels do get dumbed down going through so much of processing. Uh, there's not a mo motion blur in this game. Uh, there's not a motion blur setting at all. It's just the technicality of this of 
especially when it comes to games too when you have like a camera and you do like real life vlogging or real life videos and things like that you don't get that much of a blur but in video games it's a little bit different with the pixels so there's not much i can really do about that uh but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get ourselves a lot of money yeah i get ourselves a lot of money and we're gonna have some fun now one thing about this game is that time goes by extremely fast it does so as you can see already call it a day at 6 p.m so we're gonna call it a day move on to day two and you can see how fast the time goes in this game now the only thing that we did today was really kind of like just clean up the yard uh which isn't bad i mean that's you know that's all right uh i just like how it you know we're making a lot of money out of it now i will say the one thing that i'm doing right here right now it's something I haven't done before. I haven't reached over the rope and picked up the boxes. Uh, so I am er, kind of cheesing a little bit. You're not supposed to be, like, uh, messing around over there. I don't think in the demo version. I'm not sure. I'll go ahead and show you uh, all the different things that we have available to us. The grass is very long, obviously. We want to cut that, which we will. So let's go ahead and, and finally talk to our computer here slash our gnome. Little tiny laptop here. So... Uh, what is something that we're going to want to get? Well, we're wanna get, we want to get a push mower. That's going to cost $50. So we're going to do that. We want to get a watering can. So we're going to get that. We want to get a shovel so we can plant our crops. We're going to do that. And then seeds. We want to get strawberry seeds. We want to get pumpkin seeds. I kind of want to get some tulips. I would probably want maybe two tulips for now because they are expensive. And maybe like three strawberries. And that's good for now. Uh, you can see there's a bunch of decoration that we can do. Decoration right now. Willie, I'm assuming uh, Wilson, uh, you know, uh, Castaway. Pathing, uh, $2 for Wilson. Pathing costs $8. Fence, $10. Wooden floor, $20. Hedge, $25. Hedge, arch, $30. Sunshade, $120. Benches, $150. And fountain, $500. Now, I'm assuming that there will be more when the game is fully released. Uh, and this is just what we get in the demo. Here, the extensions, uh, it says we can have the left area, we can have the right area, or we can have the back of the house. Uh, these are all locked as it says uh, and you can kind of extend but these are not available in the demo now the one thing about this that i don't understand is that the back of the house i feel like this is the back of the house not the front of the house uh, one thing about this also is that when you order something uh you don't just get it right away hear that in the background One thing about this game is that uh, very faint and in the background, you will hear a person drive up very fast, get out of his car, slam on the brakes, well slam on the brakes, then get out of his car, and say catch. And he will throw boxes to you from all different directions. They all come in different directions, they're not the same direction every time. So it's kind of funny in that sense. Uh, so that's that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and... Um, ooh. Uh, I would like to rotate that, please. We're going to rotate this a little bit. We're going to go ahead and actually start digging first before we mow. Should I do that or should I mow first? Maybe I should mow first. Yeah, maybe I should mow first. Okay, so you know what? Yeah, we're going to mow first. Yeah, we're going to mow first. Even though we might have a couple of packages in the actual way. Yeah, so let me just go ahead and mow real quick, and I'll bring you back when I am done. Okay, so now that we have finished uh, mowing the lawn, we can go ahead and start planting some plants. This is the whole premise of the, of the game here of how to earn money. So you're like thinking, oh, well, how do I earn money? This is exactly how you do it. Go ahead and you grow some plants. So we're going to go ahead and place that in. I'm going to place that in. I'm going to go for, I think, three strawberries here. Maybe start a row of tulips. Have some strawberries right there. Have some tulips down the row here. I don't know where I'm going to put the pumpkins. I don't want to put the pumpkins by the garbage can. So I'm, I think I'm going to put the pumpkins off over here. So we'll do that. And look at that. Bam! Look at that thing. Yeah! But we have to grow it first. So we'll put that right there for now. Uh, the strawberries. Let's also get the strawberry out. Look at this thing. Bam! Strawberry. Love it. All right, what else did we get? Three We got a lot of strawberries, actually. Uh, and a lot of tulips. So I think we got four strawberries. Did we get four strawberries? Let's go ahead and plant a nice tulip right here. Okay. And then we can actually put a nice tulip right here if we wanted to. Kind of go down. 
right? I think that's how we can go. Now, for the strawberries, um, we have that big one right there, but we can kind of like squeeze in a couple more if we wanted to, I think. Kind of go like that. I think that will be okay. All right, so now one thing that we need to do is water all of our plants. So let's go ahead and water. And when you water them, they should, well, not, uh, not when you water them, but when you highlight them, they should tell you how long animals need water too. Oh, I just uh, accidentally watered the cat there. It should tell you how long they they uh, they take to harvest or grow. Um, and this is part of the realism that isn't real, obviously. I mean, the game looks good. I do have to say that the game does look pretty good. Uh, but this is the whole gameplay of it. It's about to get very gamey here. So if you highlight over it, it says the pumpkin was planted today and it will take five days to grow. If you go over here to the, to the to the strawberry, it will take two days to grow. And if you go over here to the tulips, it'll take one day to grow. So now there's nothing else really to do other than call it a day and get more money so that we can make this backyard look cool and have a pathway and have a fence and have this and have that, whatever it is. So there we go. There's our tulips and we can harvest those. And once we do harvest these, $35. Not bad, right? Especially for a $20 plant, I believe is what that is. So there we go. We got our tulips in. Uh, these will come in tomorrow. Uh, so the tulips are really the game winner here. We, we definitely want to get that. We get 15 coins from that. I think that's the most money that we get. Um, the least money we get is from the strawberries. Second most that we get is from the pumpkin. But the most that we'll get overall is from the tulip. So we'll do that. Add that over here. And then we'll probably just buy, reinvest. Yeah, rebuy more uh tulips and the guy will throw it to us and that will be exciting uh so let's see here let's go seeds we want to go tulips buy one buy one buy another and then maybe go ahead and like buy a path or two let's see how that is this is my first time using a path i've only done seeds shovels and mow i haven't done any decorations in this game i haven't done any um adding in this game so we'll just wait a sec this is the one thing i that i i i, I don't really I, I it's whatever like, it's hilarious the first time, but, like, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe some people love it. I don't know. I don't, It's not that I hate it. I'm just saying, like, I don't know. It's it's silly. It's silly, and I'd rather just have the stuff instantly pop up. There we go. There we go. Pathway there. And it doesn't seem like there's a way to really, um, uh, I don't think there is. No, there's not, like, a way to really delegate or try to yeah try to delegate your your inventory you kind of get what you get oh that's a new kind of tulip it's a different kind of color oh that's a different color too very good okay cool let's go ahead and water this now this will be my first time using the path hopefully it goes well i don't know i'm having an idea that i go off of the porch here by these flowers and kind of go into the into the backyard here like i'm thinking three and then like off the porch this is a walking path yeah so i'm thinking like go that way yeah it's a walking path yeah for sure okay cool yeah i i, I think i'm for it very well yeah so if you're starting out this game if you're actually doing this game uh, whether it's the demo or the full release if you're watching this months and months and months down the road um first things first unless they fix it or change it get the tulips yeah the tulips will get you a lot of money as you can see we're gonna go ahead and do it again and of course like another thing if you don't want to harvest the tulips in the future you can just keep them there and they will just look absolutely beautiful so there we go get ten dollars from our strawberries which look absolutely delicious and then what we'll do is we will just rewater them and now we have a lot of money and instead of like if we if we don't want to well we're not going to not thinking about it we're not going to buy more strawberries because they are a uh reusable plant they do just keep coming uh tulips obviously you pick them one and done they're gone right uh so i'm gonna use the extra little bit of money to use on decorations possibly maybe on more padding or even more maybe on more tulips yeah so let's go back into the shop and let's see here uh, how many tulips can we buy? Five? Six? Technically seven. Let's go ahead and buy five tulips. 
We'll buy five tulips. We'll look into the decoration here. I would like to buy more padding. Yeah, maybe a few more. And then how much is a fence? 10 on the fence? Wooden floor is 20. Okay. How much is a hedge? 25. Very well. Okay, that's good for now. Bring it in, partner. <laughs> this is the tiny little garden that we got going on, dude. So good. Come on, partner. Let's go. Bring it in. Oh, yeah. Hey, catch. Just so weird. Anyways, as I was saying before, the game says that we need to unlock the backyard. But this is the backyard, right? This screams backyard to me. You have a shed back here. You have that. You have this. You have a dumpster. You got a little bit. This is not a front yard. This is definitely a backyard. So that, I would assume, is the, is the front yard, not the backyard. But maybe that's a mess up on the, you know, it says it's locked, but maybe it shouldn't say that type thing. I don't know. There we go. There we go. And there we also go. Okay, cool. So first things first, let's go ahead and uh, plant our tulips. There we go. Oh, look at that purple one. How neat is that? I really think this is going to do very well for some of the people in the community. Like I said, um, I think this a lot of people are going to like this game. Nice, relaxing, chill out game. Now, how much is the game going to cost? Oof, I, I don't know. I don't know how much this game is going to cost. I don't know what they're thinking as far as price wise. If I were to guess and hoped, uh, maybe. Oh, God, that's not even level anymore. That's not even like lined up. It's not even straight. <laughs> it's not straight, dude. If I were to guess, maybe possibly uh, 1499. Would you pay for 1499 for a game like this? I, I probably would. You could probably get about 15 hours out of this game, if not more. Especially to see what kind of, if you know, what what else more are they going to uh, bring in into the game when the game is fully released? How much more items are we going to get? How many more plants are we going to have, right? All these questions that are still unanswered, that is kind of, you know, kind of spicy in, in the long term here. Uh, or in the short run, or, you know, whatever it is. Whatever it is, it's spicy. So, tulips... That, yeah, gotta go for the tulips. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Perfect. One thing I haven't seen yet is when the pumpkin is grown. So once this pumpkin does grow all the way, I would love to see what that thing looks like. And I would love to see how much money I get from it. You know? And I'm, I'm assuming it's a reusable plant just like the strawberries here. So we don't need to, like, plant another one. We can continue. Who knows? Maybe we get more money with the pumpkin than we do with the tulips. I don't know. The strawberries were the really only thing I tested. Okay, uh, that's good. Let's go ahead and buy some more stuff, more tulips. And maybe what we can do is we can average out, like average out five tulips every time. And then we have 89 left over. And we could do a nice little... Um, I don't even know uh maybe like a nice little fence fence and pathway if i can how much is a pathway okay let's go let's go five yeah let's go five and then for the fence we'll do four and we'll see what happens and see what we can do i have an idea in my head it is kind of weird that it's not like I mean, I can actually move this stuff and make it line up. And maybe I should do that. You know what? Let's do that. Let's line things up here. Make it look a little bit better. Whoa. Just don't get hit by a box. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, so let's line this up a bit. Let's rotate it. Make it kind of look like that. There we go. Hello, cat. And there we go. Um, I had a li little bit of confusion when I first played this game. Because I thought you had to have, like, the hand thing, you know, the hand in the hot bar to pick up stuff. No. It's the hammer. You have to have the hammer to pick up stuff. There we go. All right. So this is a little bit straighter than it was before, so that's good. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this stuff, please. Oh, got to have the hand to actually open this up, though. There's all our tulips. There's our pathing. And there's the other stuff. So what I'm thinking is I go... Then I go off into this direction, right? 
So how would I do this? Would I rotate it this way? How would I line this up without it clipping through that rock? And maybe I can't. Maybe it's going to have to clip through that rock. Um, yeah, I guess so. I guess it'll clip through the rock. No, no big deal, I guess. We'll do that. You won't notice it. <laughs> there you go. And then we'll go this way. Continue off this way. And then this way, kind of the same thing. Rotate that around. Nope. Rotate it around. There we go. Perfect. Have it go off in this direction. And try to keep it as straight as possible while doing that. And let's go ahead and grab our fence here. Fence. Oh, this is not what I was thinking this was going to look like. But okay, that's fine. Uh, what I'll do is I'll do like, I don't know, like a nice little fence that, that way, that way. Um, that way. Oh, no, it actually falls. Oh, that's not good. I don't want you to fall. Sorry. That way. Have maybe a gap here. Oh, this does not line up down, does it? Oh, no. <laughs> it doesn't line up. It looks terrible. There is no, like, grid system. It doesn't, this isn't the fence that I was hoping that it would have been. Uh, did I water my plants? I did. Okay, good. First things first, water your plants. Probably get these tulips up and running before the day ends. Oh, and by the way, uh, when the day ends, the day ends. They, it ends for you. It doesn't, um, it doesn't wait for you. Uh, you. You don't just go to the door whenever you want. When it, 6 p.m. does come, it comes and it ends your day immediately. So there we go. We got those out. All right. Let's see what we have here. We have a little bit of something working here, kind of. I don't know exactly what I'm doing. And it's not so much lined up, but it is what it is. I'm going to grab that. There we go. There we go. Hello, kitty cat. All right, grab some of this as well. I think I only have like two or th one or two more days left with the um, with the pumpkins. Let's we'll see. One day left. Let's see. Hang on, after I water it, I'll check. One day left. Yeah, cool. One day left. All right, so let's finish this up. There we go. Hey, we actually hit two hundred twenty-four dollars the first we've hit that. I kind of was thinking of like. I don't know what I was doing with the fence. I really don't. I wanted to put hedges behind it, I think, is what I was thinking. But I could put hedges, like, all up against the fence line, as it is. I thought this fence was going to be very uh, similar to the picket fence, but it doesn't seem like that's the case. All right, let's go ahead and buy five more tulips. I mean, really, we could buy more than that, huh? That would give us a monster amount of money. Ten? But I want to buy stuff today, too. We'll do eight. We'll do eight. And then what I'll do is I will buy two hedges just to see what they look like. And see how this plan of mine is going. Look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, it's so bad. It's so, so bad. Oh, I feel terrible. I'm breaking all of the green thumbs brains out there. And, I'm, and I apologize. There you go. Okay, grab that, grab that, and let's see how this works out. Whoa! Uh, yeah, this, <laughs> this is definitely not what I was expecting either. Oh, and it actually runs, okay, so it, it knocks over the fences as well. Right, okay, uh, right, um, yeah, so this is definitely not what I was expecting when it came to hedges. So I guess we'll pivot and make a different plan. I hate that it kind of like bops into stuff. It's not like a full on um, I'm going to clip through type thing and be solid. It's definitely playing around with the other objects in the world, which is OK. But I can already see maybe going forward, if you were playing this game, that that right there, what we did with the whole fence and this and that and how we scooted that over. If you're trying to do anything somewhat similar in your garden, you're not going to be um, you're, you're going to get frustrated probably quickly, huh? Like that? You're probably going to get frustrated very quickly with stuff knocking over and stuff not being placed perfectly where they were, at least where you thought they were 
or where they should go you know does that make any sense so there is like that in the realism as in like oh objects you know when they touch they actually touch and when they touch it can get a little chaotic and they can bump into each other and they can knock each other over and then this and that but also um if you're trying to really plan out a garden you might have a frustrating time <laughs> you definitely might have a frustrating time knocking stuff over constantly so that's going to be really up to you let's go see what these pumpkins look like too bad there's not like a snapping grid system or something like that where like items do snap to each other i think that would have been kind of cool but i guess this whole like free placing placement of, of objects does give it that organic feel look at that speaking of organic how much does this give us twenty dollars okay the tulips are the way to go we already know the tulips are the way to go there we are i don't know in real life do tulips sell more than pumpkins i'm not sure i don't know that logic i don't know that economic uh i'm not part of that um I, I'm not in that expertise when it comes to uh, retail. What retails more? Uh, tulips or pumpkins? In this case, it's freaking tulips, dude. They're the money makers. So just like spam a bunch of tulips and you'll be just fine. You'll be absolutely just fine. And that's, you know what we're going to do? I think that's what we're going to try to do. We're going to try to make and try to get as many tulips as we can here. 13 tulips bring it in and that's all we're gonna do we're not gonna buy any decorations right now because one thing that i want to put down is at least a freaking fountain let's see what the fountain looks like we have a couple of hedges in we have the fence in we have the padding coming in basically we're testing out all these de decorations if anything that'd be the best thing to say for this game right now okay so plant wait did we not water a plant oh no did we not water a tulip Look at all this. <laughs> oh my god. I'm just seeing dollar signs right now. Okay, water. Oh, we didn't water the tulip fully. Oh, that's a shame. There we go. Make sure to water all of your tulips. There we go. Do the bottom row. We gotta do the top still. And then let's just earn that money, baby. So, I mean, strawberries and pumpkins, they're cool. Uh, they're not going to make you much money, but you just place them down. Find a place where you want them to go, and you don't even really have to harvest them. You can keep the probably strawberries in the plant and just keep them there as decoration as itself. Because, obviously, you just want to do what we're doing now. Okay, day nine. Let's do it, baby. Let's get all of our tulips. Maybe this wouldn't be so OP if, like, it took three days for the tulips to grow. But the fact that they take one day, it's kind of crazy. Maybe they'll adjust that when the game uh, first come first comes out, yeah? Maybe they'll adjust the time on it. Let's look at our money. Oh, it's looking good. Let's have like an entire backyard full of tulips. There we go, 509. It does technically give us the ability to buy a um, fountain for 500, but then we wouldn't be able to buy any tulips. Uh, I would like to try to buy one of everything. I would like to try to buy um, some wood floors as well. So let's go ahead and buy some more tulips. How much would 13 cost? Let's do uh, 15. We'll buy 15 tulips. And then we'll buy just a couple of these. Just to see what they're like. Wood floors. Uh, we'll buy a couple of hedge arches. To see what those are like as well. Can we buy a sunshade? No. Okay, that's good. And then the other areas, I'm assuming when the game is fully released and not in demo mode, you could probably save up money to purchase, like, the side of the house. The back of the house, that they call it. Probably the front of the house. Like, these places over here, you could probably do that uh, when with enough money uh, when the game does come out. So, luckily, the boxes don't, like, knock over the fences, I don't think. That would be extremely annoying. Now, these boxes that are being thrown in, what if you were to, um... What if you were to have like a garden right here? You know, what if you had just a garden sitting right here and then like now you have people throwing boxes on top of your garden? That'd be kind of weird. Okay, arches. Ah, I see. I see. 
Very well. Very well indeed. It seems very, very modern. Like with the concrete slab and everything. Very modern to what we had before. Okay. That's cool. Uh, 15 tulips now. Wonder if I could just spam them. Let's test that out. What happens if I just spammed them? Like, does it matter if they are apart from each other? Can they still grow if they are not too far apart? Or does it even matter? Can we just spam them anywhere? I guess that's another test that we can test out. Yeah. Cat loves it. There we go. And do this. Bam and bam. Did we do this? Nope. Okay, so hey, our strawberries are ready to harvest. But, I mean, I know it's a little bit of, like, it's not a lot of money. And we could just keep the strawberries right there just because they look so good and so pretty. Right? There we go. And our pumpkin. Don't forget about your pumpkin. Yeah, I think one thing that's going to really sell people on this game is uh, more information. Uh, will there be more? What kind of more? What sort of more can we, like, expect from this game? Like, look at this. This is a wonderful wood tile. It is. It's a pretty cool wood tile, but would it be even cooler if I can snap it, right? It's kind of cool. You know? <laughs> I don't know. We'll just, uh... Now, I wonder if I were to say, oh, I don't want this anymore. Can I actually throw this into the dumpster? Does that work? Say, oh, I want to delete something. Doesn't seem like it. So I wonder once you buy something, you just can't get rid of it? Interesting. I wonder why. I don't know. I guess I put it in there. There's this little greenhouse as well that I guess we could use if we wanted to. Right? It's kind of interesting. Alright, let's go to the next day. So in the next day, we're testing out this spam of tulips. Uh, are the tulips able to grow now that we've spammed them like literally on top of each other? I think so. One, two, three, four. I think we did 15. Yeah. I think they grew just fine, even though we spammed them. Yeah, they're inside of each other right there. Oh, okay. So, yeah, just go ahead and spam your tulips. And, uh, <laughs> you'll get that. You'll, uh, you'll grow them just fine. Oh, you just ran through the strawberries. No, didn't you, cat? There we go. There we are. And we'll do that. Oh, and the pumpkins are ready. Okay, cool. Now, let's, like, buy a fountain and a sunshade and see what those items look like. Let's do that. Do, oh, and a, and a bench. So, sunshade, a bench, and then I guess the fountain's next. We'll do the fountain's last. That will be tomorrow. Add our tulips. We'll buy all 19 tulips. That will give us enough money. Can I play with the cat? No, I can't play with the cat. Can I crouch down to the cat? Can I say hello to the cat? The very adorable looking cat. It's actually pretty big looking too. Okay, do not destroy anything. God damn. Jesus. It's a little unnecessary, don't you think? I don't know. I know I keep saying it, but I, I feel like it's a little unnecessary. Um, yeah, okay. This is a nice little shade thing. I guess you could put it, like, right there for now. It's nice to have a little shade thing, but, like, you can't really enjoy it if you don't have any chairs. I guess that's what the bench is for. Okay. Yeah. I see it. There you go. There you go. Little shade. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Again, we'll just spam this all in a circle. It works. Don't pull out that mower. And then just make sure every single seed is watered. All 19 tulips are watered. So that in the morning, we can go ahead and buy a big freaking fountain. Now, again, I'm going to go back on the thing on something I was kind of mentioning earlier. And that is uh, what will determine people to buy this game. And I, I honestly do believe it's going to be more. What more are you going to have what more is there going to be if there's not going to be much more to this game 
then maybe my $15 remark might be scr scrunched down to $10. Why? Um, you can kind of already see for yourself. I've only been playing for about like 30 to 40 minutes and look at the garden and look how much we have done and already bought so far and really just bump up your tulip game, you know? Maybe there will be other contract. Maybe there'll be contract work uh, when the full game releases. I don't know. I, I think it all depends. This game is going to really ride on information, what kind of stuff to get, uh, what more stuff they want to add, if that makes sense. There we go. All right, so now let's go ahead and purchase our fountain. That's the last thing that we have to really buy. And we've built, and we've built, bought, and planted everything in the demo and everything in the game other than me making it look terrible but just because of where i placed things but other than that i mean you know we, we we technically got everything in the game so it is what it is but i mean if you want to play this game for yourself and play the demo and go ahead and um you know and make a place look nice i mean you could definitely do that now right you could definitely do that now I just think <laughs> I, I could see a lot of I, I could see some people from from the community being a little upset, knocking over fences all the time, be like, gosh, darn it. Or these boxes that just like literally come out of nowhere. Come on. Yeah, thank you. Now for the grand finale. The fountain. Ah, That sounds really good, though. It sounds very peaceful. I love that. There we go. Oh, how good. Hear that? Oh, that's good. Anyways, guys, I think this is where I'm going to wrap up this let's look at of Garden Simulator. Uh, you have an idea of what the game is and what to expect from the game. Um, I think it's a, it's a pretty cool game overall. Uh, there's, I think there needs to be some adjustments. Um, I think there needs to be more. Uh, I don't think there's enough. Obviously, it's the demo. But we just need to know that there's going to be more. Um... We'll have to see. We'll have to see where the, where the, uh, you know, where the progression of the, uh, of the uh, development does go for this game, and we'll see what happens. I think the tulips, a little OP. Maybe they will adjust that, right? But anyways, guys, it's been a pleasure not to be with you guys here today. Hope you guys had a wonderful day. Hope you have a wonderful evening wherever you're watching this, whenever you're watching this. Um, if you like the video, please, I, I would really appreciate it if you like the video. Subscribe if you want to join us. We would love to have you. I will see you in the next video, wherever that may be. And do as always, take care.